after in theaters, the blockbuster movie Sully has raked in more than $130 million worldwide. It chronicles the miraculous January 2009 landing by Captain Chesley Sully Sullenberger on the Hudson River. After flying to a flock of geese and losing both engines of his Airbus A320, Sullenberger and all 155 passengers and crew survived. So this has put interest on the lengths that airports take in keeping birds away from aircraft. Well, it turns out San Antonio International is one of only three Texas airports with wildlife biologists specifically charged with that task. Our Josh Skernick caught up with him and shows its bird prevention at a whole nother level. As the planes at San Antonio International come and go, one man arrives at 5 a.m. Searching out flight plans of a different kind. On the north side of the airport, you'll, there's usually more birds to look at. From 11 vantage points for five minutes at a time, Marcus Macamel studies and stays a step ahead of his feathered foes. Catching up to 50 birds a year around the 12-mile airport perimeter with his homemade the Swedish goshawk they traps. They come and they're flying, they see the, the pigeons moving around down there and they think, oh. Macamel practices catch and release, relocating a great horned owl, Swainson and red tail hawks. I caught a possum one time. 75 to 100 miles from the planes and their engines in the air. Instead of attracting fowl, the former wildlife ranch hand is tasked with creating a no-fly zone. Planes aren't falling out of the sky, but it's something that anytime you get into a plane, there's a risk. Machamel says if you want to keep the birds away, you have to make them not want to come at all. That means clearing trash and making sure people don't feed the animals. He even goes as far as keeping the grass short. But with Solano Creek and McAllister Park over there, birds are just a short flight away. It would take a pretty big bird. It, th anything is possible. The fact is, without large bodies of water, there usually aren't large birds around. Last two weeks, we had a couple, quite a few hawks. But coming up is migration season, and it's up to him to make sure all pilot skies are free and clear. Josh Gernick, KSAT 12 News.